Now, with the Olympics only three weeks away, sports fans are looking forward to seeing which stars will shine in Beijing. But it'll be London's turn next, and already there's speculation about who will be Britain's medalists in 2012. Colin's been to meet two lads who might just become sporting names despite the problems that they've faced. At first glance, this might look like any ordinary athletics training session, but most of these runners originally came from war-torn countries, and two in particular are being tipped as potential future Olympic stars. Abdi Ahmed and Mukhtar Mohammed came to the UK as refugees from Somalia around five years ago. Be ready, boys. They were scouted and trained by Rob Creasy, who works in Sheffield's inner city schools. Since then, they've clinched every gold medal going. They've won uh, international honours as schoolboys and won gold medals for England on the track. Abdi's also done it on the cross country. Um, but but uh, Mukhtar joined us last year and he went straight to winning gold medals on the track for England. After escaping the civil war in Somalia, the boys have faced an uphill struggle to learn a new language and settle in the UK. But under Rob's guidance, they're flourishing and are today competing in a national league event. Uh, the boys came to a school uh, in the city, a school that takes a lot of youngsters that arrive uh, as refugees, um, and they had a bit of time to settle, uh, they got into doing their sport. Obviously, sport's a good opportunity for these youngsters because they can get involved and do it. It doesn't involve too much of the English language, uh, and obviously there were communication issues to begin with, and I used other older boys to help me communicate with them. Well, here's Abdi now. He wears number five. Let's see how he does. Abdi is already supported by the Olympics world-class programme and regular victories like today's ensure he's tipped to be one of Britain's top long-distance athletes for the future. Representing your adopted nation now, what does that feel like? Yeah, it feels great because you just came to a different country and you came here and it's like you already representing your adopted country and it's feeling... I'm excited now. Now there's a little competition happening in London. I think they call it the Olympic Games in 2012. Do you think you can make the team? I'm capable of qualifying and competing and representing Griffin in the Olympics 2012. That's my, my main goal is to go to the Olympics and see what happens. Abdi's friend Mukhtar is so talented in both athletics and football that he has the choice to go professional in both sports. He's already been signed for the under-17s at Sheffield Wednesday for his winning talent. Do you ever imagine that this was going to happen to you? No, I actually don't. I actually don't even like. I do know how I had that talent, so... OK, if there was a choice then, honestly. Now remember I'm an athlete. Football or athletics, where are we going? <laughs> it's a hard choice, but like, I, I, I really enjoy athletics as well. But yeah, we'll see. I've still got a year left from football. Yeah, so, Rob, would you like to bring our special guest to the front? Even off the track, Abdi and Mukhtar are leading by example. They're regular visitors to their local primary school in inner city Sheffield, and here they're using their success to inspire other children who've also left war torn countries to make new lives in Britain. What is it like being a footballer? It's a hard work, endless, fun and enjoyable. And it's the best job by my I think. What made you decide to run? When I was in a secondary school, we used to do a lot of football, our BE lessons. One day our teacher said to us, you want to do and running, like, and said, whoever comes first will represent the school. So I came first, so that's when I started running and never stopped. The school has a 40% Somalian population and is one of the biggest Somalian communities outside of London. In this community we've got a lot of families who came to Sheffield as refugees and asylum seekers fleeing civil war who have wanted to give their families and their children the best opportunities for success. The reality for a lot of our kids is that that is a struggle. They've got English to learn when they arrive and having successful young men who have achieved well, that just gives them the, the aspiration that they can achieve and contribute because that's what the families came for. 
When you see these two, you think they do stand out, they are quite outstanding. Yeah, these two came together, they're exactly the same age, born in the same month, arrived at the same time, and you could tell straight away that they were very gifted, obviously. At any stage, would you like to say, stick to athletics? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere else! I'd love to do that, but they have to make the choices themselves. And I think Mukhtar's made his choice, you know, he's with Sheffield Wednesday, he's signed, he's performing there as, you know, as an elite athlete, and, and Abdi's made his choice in athletics, and that's great, I support them both. Well, it's been great meeting these talented young athletes, and who knows, perhaps one day they will be Olympians. I'll be certainly watching them. Now, watching that, a quick question mm. for you. How come they can run for Britain if they're from Somalia? Ah, OK, for certain championships, European, Commonwealth Games and World Championships, you can only need to be a resident of the UK for a certain period of time. OK. And for the Olympic Games, you need actually a citizenship, so they're working on that right now. OK, thank you yeah. very much. It was really interesting, too.